The solo level by Nobo that I failed to solve the first time, so that's why there's still something on the timer. But, okay. We have key is key, door is door, moon is win, moon is defeat. So basically, what we need to do here is somehow survive even after we die on top of the moon. Or something like that, because we have to die on the moon and then still win when the turn is over. And we have to use that with has. So key and door aren't distinct except that they have a different position that they're stuck in. You know, you can't get these words out of here. We also can't transform the door into a moon because of the key is key, door is door at the bottom, so it needs to die using a has. Um, there's no way to push these things in either. So we need to do like key is you and have it on top of the door or something like that in order to um, in order to create a situation where it is stacked into each other. Uh, you can already tell I'm not having the greatest time to do with this, but there we go. Now they're stacked. So we do key is open plus key is shut. I mean, key is open and door is shut, which by the way, we don't have a second is for that. Um, but that procedure would create a moon. Now I do think maybe I want other babas and stuff like that. Like, it really seems like we want to move this babas U one upwards. So that we can use it to do cross sections of things. Hmm, this idea also doesn't work like I would need three is for the idea where I want um, Basically, this would be an attempt to make a moon that is you uh, And then turns into Baba, but clearly we don't have that so I can do this Well, th that part isn't necessary, but I can like keep the horizontal and that's like something interesting And now Baba is elsewhere. I'm not sure what I can do with this though, but it's definitely interesting the main frustration is that I can't get the horizontal in this situation, I think. But yeah, you can turn Baba into a moon. The problem is, like, even if you try to do this immediately, you will die on the moon before the wind triggers. So we can set things up, just like by pushing into walls to make this happen. So now Baba's on top of the key, whatever that does. So now it can do Bob Baba shut and open, and then one of them can have a moon. I still don't understand why though, like, it doesn't seem great. Nah, nothing's just gonna happen with this either. So, on another session, I created this scenario, and I think this is actually really good, but we just need to get the correct setup. So, you see, once I do this, if you imagine it was a key and a baba on this place, then it would immediately trigger and make a moon. So, I think all I need to do is have a baba and a key on the space that the door is currently in. So there we go. That space is currently one below, well, actually like more like three below the here. Okay. And we also want the key there as well. Shoot, how do we get the key? I think we might, might need to get the key in near the start. What would that look like? The same height, I guess? Do something like that. So upwards. There we go. So now the key is moved, and we can do the same trick with the door. So I guess te the text stacking when something was not on wasn't actually part of it. I guess. Not really sure about that, but okay. Anyway, we need to get that. There we go. Now we have the setup right, and then Baba's moon at some point. Point of defeat early on, but yeah. So now, Baba has Moon... Wait, no, we keep it as Baba, right? We keep it as Baba. It shouldn't matter which one is open or shut, but if it does cause a problem, we'll just reverse it. Baba has Moon. He is open. There we go! Okay, good level. Yeah. Definitely thought it was harder than it was, and thought there was a, lo a lot more shenanigans, but yeah, pretty good level. See ya.